oh yes, that's what it's all about. We go out, we research, we travel, and we take you to incredible locations. And today is going to be one of them. We are at the Atlantic World Fortification Line. We are going to check out something absolutely in insanely cool and it's going to be in two parts this first episode i'm going to introduce you to the outside of this incredible complex it's going to be a little drone video show you some of the overview of this incredible position and then in second part i'm actually going to take you inside and you're going to be really really amazed Right there, you have a couple of sizes of uh, different uh, munitions that were used during the Second World War, starting with the 792 MGOs or K98 cartridge, 50 caliber for the Americans. This is a 20 millimeter for the Oli Kong, also the same gun that the Germans used. Actually, they took them and used them in their arsenal. And this is a massive uh, Russian uh, shell from the Eastern Front. But today, <laughs> What we're going to see is something completely different because you're going to see something that is, oh, there used to be a 38 centimeter, not a 792, but a 380 millimeter gun was supposed to be at this insane position. They started working in July 1944 with this construction, but they never finished it. But there are two of them, only two in the whole world. And I'm going to show you exactly. First one today with a little bit outside view and some drone footage. And then next episode, we're going to go inside and you're going to see how amazing this structure is. All right, let's go out and find the path together right now. Eagle Eyes is wondering if you can get in. You can, but I'm not going to allow him, allow him because that seemed to be very, very narrow. But have a look at the size of this thing. I just have to say, I have never, ever seen a bunker this big. And you can see the sides here. So I'm actually going to jump down here. And then we're going to have a look at it from the longest side that is available. I'm not even sure what's under here. If this is just a pedestal or if it's something that is actually under here. But you can um, kind of see this wall coming here. Oh, wow. It is just humongous. But as I said, imagine the crew here. It never got finished. But imagine a crew here. Manning that 30, 30, was it 38 centimeter gun? Yeah, same gun, twin barrel, uh, as two barrels. We call it the Tirpitz Bunker because I reckon the, the guns are the same as in Tirpitz. Yeah, it is absolutely ridiculous. So, why don't we go over here? And uh, there's a lot of tubes there. Could that be cables coming in? Could be. Wow, I want to see if there is some way we can get onto the roof here. Because that will be just absolutely out of this world to see inside this thing. I doubt that we can do that, but I will definitely see if there is some way to do it. But this thing is ridiculously big. And I think the pedestal that you see up there, they were built, I think, to be able to put a crane there to hoist the, uh, the barrels and all of that in there. Because that would be like hundreds, even thousands of tons to get up there. Wow. So getting around to the other corner here it's just as long and huge up that way ridiculous absolutely ridiculous let's see there's something that i might be able to use to get on the top i'll do my very best so did try my very best there it is absolutely not feasible some guy who's very Agile could probably get easily up there and I cannot I cannot send my son up there. Oh, that would be so to cool get to get up to the top there. But there's a hill next to this one, so let's see if we can find some way to figure out what how it looks on the top there. But is that crazy or what? Absolutely stunning. 
all the way from here you can see the dimensions it's absolutely crazy big and i can understand that they wanted to have this place this thing here on this location but what i can't understand is why they started so late in the war when the resources were so so sparse so that is probably why it failed totally but nevertheless the grand plans from the Germans never, never seems to amaze me because every time you find something huge, you start to find something even larger. But I think if we can go up to that little hill there, Eagle Eye said you can get a view from there. So let's try and see that and uh, maybe he's right. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff and if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the the beginning of each month but now let's continue our little adventure <laughs> wow i can definitely see some kind of structure inside and that is where they wanted to put that turret of the gun wow That will be oh, so magnificent, but I, I cannot go through that hole there and I don't want to send my son inside and I, I definitely can't get up to the roof. But I have to say, what a spectacular position. Just imagine that thing being finished. So I said, I think these add-ons were to be able to get a crane on there so they can actually lift. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture actually of something that I think could be a similar. Yeah, they would use something like that, then hoist the gear up onto the top there. They actually uh, made a road all the way up here, and there was a narrow track railroad transporting the uh, concrete trolleys and all of that. Because this area, as you can see, it is insanely big. This is spectacular. Love this, but uh, we have a little surprise for you. If you want to be joining us inside one of these, all you have to do, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and I will leave a link in the description for a video where you will join us inside one of these. Is that a deal? You give us a subscription, a comment, a little thumbs up, and we'll take you inside one of the largest gun bunkers that the Germans ever ever made that's a deal all right you'll find the link in the video description I might even put it in the cards here but you do what you have to do we do what we do and we do it for you so I hope you enjoyed it all right 
Thanks from uh, History Hunter. Eagle Eyes. And Eagle Eyes. <laughs> ah. With that view, have a nice day, stay safe, and uh, keep smiling. And keep